Little man is going for the breast. Filming with him will be interesting. Hi friends, welcome back. This is my six month, seventh month old son tomorrow. I Everybody says this, you guys, it is so true. Time flies, I can't believe. I can't believe, he loves cameras by the way. I can't believe he's gonna be seven months. So I thought today I would just take you around and show you like all of his favorites. He's just gonna keep going for my boob. All his favorite stuff, my favorite stuff, what's been making my life easy this last month of his life. It's kind of like a six month update along with just showing you some like stuff that's just helping us thrive and survive. I did just say that. So hopefully you enjoy. If you guys want, I haven't been doing monthly updates. I did a lot of newborn stuff, a lot of postpartum stuff, but I haven't been doing like a lot of updates, particularly about him like monthly. I'm thinking maybe I should because I just like going back and watching these videos. Like the first time I was home alone with him when he was a newborn, this is embarrassing, but I've probably watched that video like 50 times. It's just good memories. It's like home videos for me. So let's jump into it. We're gonna show you everything, baby led weaning stuff, toys, apparatuses we use, all that stuff. Zane Paul, Nikki, let's go. Okay, we're in love with these little toy things. I don't know what it's called, you guys. You know, when you stick the matching shapes into the little bucket. But he loves to just play with these and stick them in his mouth. And mostly I just go over colors and shapes with him and put them in. Um, the box. We're still doing tummy time though. I mean, he really ends it when he wants to because he can roll front to back, back to front, but <laughs> he just likes to play with these while he's on his stomach. And it's like a little workout for him because he can't crawl yet. We're getting there soon though. And he can't walk, you know, so tummy time is like his little fun workout time. And I go red and we put red in the square. And then we have purple, mommy's favorite color. Yeah, and then we take purple and we put it in this shape. So I just do that. I do that, I put them in, I empty them out. He puts them in his mouth, he's teething. And we just keep going. We're still using this little mirror. <clears throat> I'll link it down below. I'll link all this stuff down below. He used to, when he was younger, <laughs> younger, he's still so young, but I feel like newborn stage was so long ago. He used to, I need to clean it. Um, used to like to look at himself in it. He's like, who are you talking to, mommy? But now he just likes to like try to stick it in his mouth. Um, so yeah, I don't think we'll be using this much longer because I'm pretty sure tummy time is going to be coming to an end once he can fully sit up unassisted. But we still use it for now, so we just play with the blocks. He sticks them in his mouth. I go over colors and, and shapes. I'm pretty sure he's doing a poo-poo. Are you doing a poo-poo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've showed you guys this book many times in other videos. I love this book. We got it from Amazon. I mean, not Am Well, they have it on Amazon, but we got it from Costco. It's more so for me, but every time he's doing tummy time or whenever throughout the day, we read to him like, I don't know an hour or two every day it's really good for him and this book is just like an encyclopedia remember those encyclopedias of like everything but it's supposed to be like I don't want to say dumbed down but simpler for kids but I just love it I mean it talks about birds and animals and the planets and the stars and I mean everything food weather history it's just amazing you guys I highly recommend it, even if you don't have kids and you're just interested in this stuff. Geography. So <clears throat> he gets me reading to him and I learn things and he learns things along the way too. So we're almost done. I'm kind of sad. Where are, there, where are we? Where did we leave off? See, we left off on sports. Like it just covers everything. I love this book. And he's just there eating his little toys. All right. This is a favorite of both Zane's and mine because it keeps him in one place. It's on carpet, so he can't move it yet. I know that's going to change very soon. So, like, I'm going to go make his second breakfast slash early lunch. And so it'll keep him right here. The kitchen is right over there. I can see him. He loves these toys. There's a really creepy, like, baby laugh. It's weird, you guys. That one. 
<laughs> I think it's a little creepy and cute. I don't know. He loves this thing. And then I do put it on the um, hardwood sometimes so we can move around, but I keep an eye on him because he's going to start being on the go. But like, as you can see, he's stationary. It keeps him entertained. He likes it. I like it. It's great. He loves these little toys. He hasn't figured out these things. It's like a little push. I think it kind of freaks him out a little bit. He always just stares at it like, what in the world? But yeah, he loves this thing. Yeah, do you like it? He's ready to go. Oh, he's gonna be walking soon. <laughs> I love this thing. All right, I'm gonna go make your lunch, okay? Slash breakfast, it's only, what time is it? Nine. So we have started solid foods, my favorite. I don't think he really cares. Are these little silicone bibs? I'm sure you've seen them everywhere. His favorite are these teething bars. We're doing baby lead weaning. Uh, I won't go into what it is. I'm sure you've heard of it. I'm trying to teach him to pick up the food. <laughs> he doesn't like actually picking it up himself. He wants me to feed it to him. But uh, I mean, his favorite food right now are these little teether things from Happy Baby. You can get them online. I'll link them down below or Target, CVS, stuff like that. Well, not CVS, but um, he also loves, I think his favorite food of all time is sweet potatoes. But look, when I hand it to him, he just, he just wants to, he wants me to do it. He doesn't want to hold it. He, he gets upset. He'll pick it up, but then I'll just throw it on the floor. So he just wants me to put it in his mouth for him. There you go. I don't know if you guys saw, but he has his couple teeth in there. Two that have poked through. I think a third, <laughs> the third one's coming. It's a little wet because I just washed it. But it's just, we're working on him. Because baby led weaning is all about the baby picking up the food themselves and putting it in their mouth and having to chew. I think he's just too young. He's just, or he's lazy, I don't know. <laughs> he's not, you're not lazy. You just don't want to do it, huh? You just want mommy to feed you. So we do have some whole foods here. He likes blueberries and banana. He, it's weird, he always makes this funny face when you give him blueberries, like he doesn't like it, <laughs> but then he, he wants more. What's that face saying? What is that face you've got, bud? You like blueberries. You do that every time. We've also been doing water. Thank God he loves water. He likes to have it with his meals. So he's just he's just growing up, but his favorite food so far that he's tried is definitely sweet potato. Okay, a couple of favorites. We're in his nursery. This thing is ugly, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a huge humidifier. Like this is my hand, this is my arm. It's huge. You don't have to fill it up every day. You can fill it up like twice a week. I didn't know before having him how important this is for babies. They just get uh, like stuffy. They have a lot of nasal issues. I, I guess when they start teething, the pediatrician was saying that can affect their nasal stuff. So this really helps him. If we have him sleep without this humidifier on, he just wakes up super stuffy. My boyfriend picked this out. I just bought, I came home and he's like, I bought him a big humidifier because we had the little one that you had to refill every day. And I was like, oh, that's ugly. But you guys, it's efficient. For now, we're just going to leave it on this table until I find somewhere to hide it. It is so powerful. You cannot even put it near electronics. So like I just have it in the corner right now. This is one of my favorites that my mom made for him. She had all of his ultrasound photos and she just put like little mementos and she had this professionally framed. I need to hang it, but that's the receipt from the, um, she brought like food to the hospital, which is funny. It's like one of my restaurants I've ate at once and I was like, I'll never eat there again. If you live in LA, it's the diner norms. I was like, mom, I'm not eating that. <laughs> that's the joke. That's the gag, but love this thing. It's ugly as heck, but it is so good at moisturizing the room, the air, and all that stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? What you doing? By the way, he sleeps in his crib. We did the Ferber method. I know some people don't agree with it. Basically, the cry out method where you let them cry, you check on him, you let them cry for a certain amount of time. Within a week, he was sleeping in here, no problem. It did take him a full seven days, but on the seventh day, he slept for nine hours straight and it was glorious. So now he sleeps in his crib 
And we have the baby monitor. I love this monitor. I will link it down below. It'll play nursery tunes. It'll tell you the temperature in the room. If you follow me on Instagram, I've shown you the little, it's not Wi-Fi. I really didn't want a Wi-Fi one because people can hack into it and it's creepy. It's just Bluetooth. It has a little monitor that's like this size. I'll show you guys later, but yes, this is where he does naps and he sleeps all night. He's currently sleeping. He goes to bed between 6.30 and 7, and he will stay asleep anywhere. The earliest he wakes up is 4. The latest he's ever slept is 6. But the majority of the time, he wakes up around 4 a.m. But this little thing is so amazing. Again, I'm redecorating the nursery, so I don't know where to put this right now. But you want it to be as close to their bed as possible. So I'm going to get another little table here. This is the hatch. It has like 20, I think like 20,000 reviews on Amazon. It plays ocean sounds, mountain sounds. It turns different colors. I love this thing. Uh, we had the snoo when he slept in the room with us, which played ambient noise. So they recommended that you just keep using a sound machine of some kind until he's like two or three. It also has light, light features. Um, and you can make it so that they can use this as like, till they become a toddler, like I said, and then it'll turn colors you can say, okay, don't get out of bed until it turns green. Like some of my friends have told me they do it for that. But anyways, this thing is awesome. And it gets very, very loud. Turns different colors. You can touch it. It does have an app, so you can actually control it remotely. I think you can be up to 30 feet away. But yeah, it's so cool, you guys. You put this thing on, you get the nighttime routine started. And he is asleep and we just leave it on all night. I don't like this one. It's like cicadas or crickets. I don't like the that. reality of motherhood. This is the current state of my bathroom vanity. I have a lot of products. My nails look different because this is like a week later, but I just wanted to show you guys some of my things that I've been using in my restroom. Bunch of clearance stuff, not sponsored. I know I talk about clearance a lot. It's just because they send me a lot of PR, you guys. And I like a lot of the stuff I try. I don't love everything. If you haven't seen my clearance review video, I will link it down below. But I've been using the Moisture Rich Body Lotion. Love that. This is very interesting. So this is a perfume, but it has like health benefits. It's supposed to be really good for the skin and it smells very interesting. It has like a woodsy smell. I, I actually really enjoy it. I'll link it down below and you can check it out. But there are benefits like things in it that are really good for the skin, that are good for your health. It's interesting. I've had it like right here in my bathroom just to kind of make sure I use it every day and give it a good try. And then this is a shower mousse that I've been using. This is one of the first like they have body products, but this is, I think, like the first shower, like body wash product I've been using from them that I've really been enjoying. And this is something that you specifically use. This has been great all summer. Well, I, I think I've had it for like a month now, so I used it all of July. It's an after sun shower gel. It says it removes sunscreen, salt, sand, chlorine, and pollution. If you follow me on Instagram, I took Zane to Malibu just yesterday and I used this after like getting in the ocean and all the salt water and stuff and the sand and I really like it a lot. So I'll leave a link to these things down below. You can check them out. Don't mind my messy bathroom. This is just life as a new mother. I recently bought this like jewelry plate. I actually got it thrifted and I really like it just to throw like my Fitbit, my stuff, but I've got to straighten up my bathroom. This is the Halo bassinet. This is the actual bassinet we used from the time he was newborn to two months before we got this new. I'm going to sell it on Facebook Marketplace or something because he literally used this. I don't know. I think we actually used it for a month and a half. It was nice. It just, it's not motorized, you know, like the snoot. Like you can spin it out. I don't even know if I remember how to do it. Doesn't it spin out? Like you can move it so that, there we go. It goes closer to the bed, which was really nice. I can't believe how big he looks in this thing. And I also got the little insert that he barely used that is nice. You like hook it in here and it's for when they're really tiny. But he's just so big, he doesn't even fit in anymore. I think you're only supposed to use these until they're six months. But this one was nice. 
Uh, I just, I love this new. You guys know that. And then we got the little, um, didn't it come with this? The comforter thing. He wants to get out. <laughs> I feel like if he wanted to, he could get out of this himself. But yeah, I love this new. But this is another good option. It's very popular. I think they even have one that's motorized that will like make sounds like this new and stuff. You want to get out? Here, play with your old mitt. You used to wear these when you were a newborn. Here. Yeah. Another one of his favorites. I think this is called a sea and say. I think his godmother gave it to him. Um, I'll link it, but he loves this thing. And I just, he likes when I mimic the noises. I don't know if that's a good turkey. Uh-oh, hang on. Let's do another one. 